What's up guys, JigsawFlex here, back again with another new video. Today I'm going to be discussing about a Smash Bros. competitor for the Nintendo Switch. Yes, today guys, I'll be discussing about the brand new third party game that's going to be coming on the Nintendo Switch late 2017, Brawl Out. Yes, I know, even the title literally has similar font to the Super Smash Bros. Brawl font. Uh, I will provide like two pictures here in comparison. So if you guys want to know, it is not a new game. It's actually out on Steam right now. You guys can get it for about $9.99, which is actually a pretty cool deal. It is also coming out on Xbox and PS4 if you guys are interested in those consoles as well. So yeah, the deal of Brawl Out. As much as I want a Smash Bros. port, I can actually wait a little bit. I kind of want to play other games other than like the same fighting game that I've been getting for every home console. So it's cool, like if, if Nintendo is actually working on it now and we just don't know about it, then it's it's all good. I, I think that Brawl Out is a perfect void to just like have a game to play in the meantime that Smash Bros is being worked on to like port over. So if you guys missed the announcement trailer, I will leave a link down below. They showed actually specifically more on a specific character, which was a uh, probably a new character that they had to announce, which was Hyper Light Drifter. He's kind of like Marth. He's really fast with his uh, swords and a little bit of Fox because he had this uh, counter ability. It has like currently, I, I believe five or six characters. I will also leave a uh, link down below for the official website so you guys could check out a little bit of the characters itself, another trailer, and um, so forth, the other features that I'll be also discussing about. I'll admit that Brawl Out does take a lot of elements from Super Smash Bros. I mean, just from looking from the trailer, it, you can obviously tell that it kind of looks like a replicate of Smash itself. And, uh, you know, not necessarily a bad thing, which is, it's pretty cool because we need more games like Smash Bros. You know, like there's Brawlhalla. I mean, it, it, it kind of feels more like Smash Flash 2, to be honest. But uh, we have other games like uh, Rivals of Ether. I mean, this one looks very polished. Like, a polished, like, replica of Smash, which is pretty cool. And like I said, it, it definitely seems like a very good game to play for a while until you get the actual Smash port on Switch. So what I've read about really recently is that there's actually a rage meter. So, um... If you keep just using your special attacks, eventually your rage meter will go up, right? And basically you get to buff your character for a little bit. I guess that's kind of like just the equivalence of a basic final smash. Um, a lot of characters in Smash are like a little buffed when they get the Smash Ball. So I'm guessing your attacks just get more like stronger. Uh, your defensive stats boost up a little bit too, which is actually pretty interesting. So uh, I don't know if that's going to be... Uh, like a thing for every match. I, I hope you could turn it off too because, you know, sometimes other people would want to play casually and other people would probably want to play uh, very serious about the game. So we'll see. We'll see if it goes really far though. What also was really interesting actually is the fact that they don't actually have any shields or blocking involved. Like I never saw a shield or like any type of blocking in the trailer itself. And then I read a little bit of the website and it did say that they're, they're getting rid of it or just for the game. And, um, it's actually pretty cool because like you're actually more focused on trying to beat the enemy than uh, than actually like defensively getting away. Like sometimes shields can be annoying. I'll admit um, when you think an attack will like hit someone in Smash Bros. Like Ike side smash. Uh, obviously it's really slow, but like with a shield you're pretty safe. Uh, at least for the most part, if it's not charging up. So based off of this, I think the game will be more combat and strategy based, which is pretty cool. It'll set off from Smash Bros. itself because uh, there has to be some stuff that's different from a game. The gameplay itself looks very fluid. I mean, they did say though there's going to be wave dashing. So for all of you Melee fans, at least you're getting a game that has wave dashing again. So definitely try it out. Directional influence, which is a big factor actually in any fighting game that makes you toss people like across the screen like definitely that is very important because uh that's a lot that's a thing that i do a lot in smash bros um if i if i want to survive directional influence is a way to go of course there's gonna be some ranking system one-on-one -on -one battles you can do like probably maybe a for glory or for fun type of thing like in the wii u and 3ds version of smash and as well as uh party rooms where two to four players can play so it's basically a platform 2d fighting game it, it involves the percentages, like I said, mentioned before, uh, which is pretty cool. So you can toss your characters up in the air. The combos look pretty fluid. It, it looks more um, complex than your average, like Super Smash Flash 2 type of game or uh, Brawlhalla, that's for sure. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you guys are interested in getting the game late 2017 or if you guys are going to be purchasing it on Steam. Um, 
I'm probably gonna try it out and see uh, how the game is before I get it on Switch. If I w if I am going to get it on Switch, it all depends on my first impressions of the game. So let me know, like I said, if you're gonna pick it up late 2017. I've been your host, Jigsaw Flex, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.